Gregorius and the queen of spot, he was in, what, 40-plus games there last year, did a nice job. All the great hitters in that lineup, and yet he's the guy who comes through. Well, we saw it in the playoffs last year. This guy's starting to step up bigger and bigger. He's getting better and better. I'm looking for an MVP-type season from this guy because he's got all those... My massive big hitters in front of him. I can see this guy really breaking out, driving in the runs because these guys are going to get a lot of walks. Well, I'm telling you, I mean, when you think of the Yankee lineup, you think of two guys. You think of Aaron Judge, you think of Giancarlo Stanton. Yeah, yeah. Don't sleep on guys like Gary Sanchez, Didi Gregorius. He has been the perfect replacement for Derek Jeter. The guy plays gold glove defense. He's a middle of the order type of guy. He set the home run record for shortstop for the New York Yankees. I mean, his emoji game is on point. And he was knighted through <laughs> Netherlands, yeah, right? The dude speaks like five different languages. I mean, this guy is so interesting, and for him to be able to go into New York and do what he's done on such a quiet way, that is the perfect replacement for the captain. And what's key is he hasn't shown a ceiling yet. Each year he's been in that Yankee uniform, he's gotten better and better. We saw him really break out in the playoffs, and he's starting his, the first of the season the same way he finished it. What an acquisition he has settled in, and when Stanton can go 0 for 5 and you still get the run production, Gregory is carrying the team. I think Harvey uh, looks like he's got something to show everybody well, I mean, here. He, he, like to say, that's kind of the thing I, re I recognize most, is like he looks physically fit. He looks focused. He looks like he's ready to go. I mean, let's be honest, it is his free agent mm -hmm. year, and we have talked about that also. I also feel like having guys like Dave Island and Mickey Calloway, two pitching coaches that have had success in this league. So for those guys to be able to teach him and for him to listen to those guys, he has a chance to have an unbelievable season. But well, for me, it's just baby steps. He's been through a lot of the last couple of years. He looks healthy. He's in tremendous shape. But take him one day at a time. Do not get the hype going again. Mm -hmm. Let's see this guy get back where he's capable of being with a new sounding board with new coaches who's had a lot of success with pitchers. I think this could be the combination that turns this guy around. Also, too, I feel like that pitching staff has wanted to pitch together from Jump Street. Yeah. And to have, the, yeah, have the chance to have all five of those guys together to go out and do their thing and to show New York what they actually can do. But we always talk about that health is key. Those guys have to stay on the mound for the Mets to be successful. Yeah, because I think everybody's just handing that division to the Nationals. Right. But mm -hmm. this uh, could be a difference maker if everybody's healthy. That was a tough loss for this bullpen. Kelly's been the number one closer in baseball, I would say, for the last four years. He's been automatic. Mm -hmm. uh, it's bound to happen to all guys who throw as much as this guy. If guy throws a 96, 97 mile per hour cutter, eventually you might go through a period of dead arm. They had a, a late run to the playoffs, a late run to the World Series. Maybe he just pitched so many innings last year, his arm is tired. I don't think it's something that's going to last forever. I just think he might be going through a period of dead arm. We've seen him with great closes year in and year out. What do you do, dead arm? Give rest, period? Can you afford that? Where would the Dodgers turn because he's been their money guy? You have to rest him. You know, bottom line, and this guy's a weapon. You need this guy healthy. 89 with that cutter is very hittable. 95 is untouchable. So we need this guy healthy. You need this guy healthy because I know you're a big Dodgers guy. <laughs> Baseball needs this guy healthy because... I grew up loving the he's Dodgers. He's a treat to watch, but he's human. Yeah. That's just what it is. And yeah, the Dodgers don't have a lot of depth in the, the bullpen overall. They've kind of shuffled some things. Scott Alexander, a new acquisition. But Rick Honeycutts, he's been there a long time. He knows how to juggle things. Yeah, well, there's no doubt about it, but I think the biggest thing that Frank's worried about is the velocity. I mean, when your closer is topping out at 89 miles an hour, we know from being in that batter's box, it's a lot yeah. easier to hit that 89 mile an hour Ooh. cutter than that 95 mile an hour cutter. Now, listen, this dude has averaged over 70 appearances over the last five seasons, and the Dodgers have gone deep into the playoffs. So, Frank says he needs to rest. Bro, you're making $85 million, my man. I don't think you got time yeah. to rest. Well, he says it's something mechanical, yeah. and he also knows that no one's going to feel sorry for me. Well, we, this man is up right. for yeah, the challenge. Yep. He'll get better. I get that, but it's a 162-game schedule. You need this guy healthy. If he takes a month off, it's fine. You need this guy healthy. The Dodgers are such a great ball club. They'll find a way to win ball games without him. <laughs> I agree. But they need this guy healthy to be the weapon that we all know that he is. And that Dodger bullpen uh, on the spot in trouble in Arizona in relief of Kershaw. We'll update that throughout the remainder of this show.